This video is on how to restore an old photograph using the program GIMP. It's a free program that you can download at GIMP.org. So go there, download it, install it. Then scan the photo you want to fix into your computer at a high resolution. Remember where you saved it. Then start the GIMP program and go to File and Open. Then find where you saved your photo. Photo fix. Ariel. And right there is the photo. And now that and now that you have it open, you can start to work on it. Okay, now that your photo is loaded. You gotta pick an area to start. So start with something easy. Got a lot of black right here in the middle, so let's choose that. Come up here and choose your magnifying glass. And you can drag an area. Let's do this. You can also just click and zoom in. Okay. Now come up here and choose your clone tool. Click it. And then right here it's opacity and zero is completely see-through and a hundred is not see-through at all. Uh, let's put it up right up there. Get the little up arrow, 100%. And over here is the size and it's a little too big. So if you come over here when you get the black arrow pointing up with the two lines for a shaft, you can click there, and that's how much it will shrink your thing. And that's a nice size. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Over here on the left, under opacity, it says brush. And to the left of the word brush, there's a, uh, a box. Click on that, that square box, and up pops a menu with all these different brushes in it. We want to choose the one that says hardness 050 and that's the brush we'll be using for the whole lesson. Now is a good time to save this thing. So we're going to start actually working on the photo. So click file, click save, choose where you want to do it. In my case I'm going to come over here on the left click desktop and down here I'm going to choose GIMP part one, double click it, and then it's got the name of the photo up here, but it has a .xcf. That's what GIMP saves these projects as until you export them as a photo. So I'll put the name in and click save. Now, come over here. Choose your clone tool, set your opacity so that it's at 100, your brush, pick something that looks decent on the photo, and control and click the area you want to copy. Now move your mouse over here and click and you can just keep moving your mouse and clicking as you can see like I'm doing here. or drag it and then let it go and it pops back and then you can come up here and drag it and then right here and drag and now you can do control again and click now I'm going to copy that area I'm just going to drag it right here. And drag. And pay attention to where this thing moves because if it comes up over here, while you're dragging, it'll copy that down here. And then as you get close to the thing, you can just 
move your mouse and do individual clicks. And I've got a line here, you can click. And then you can click here and drag. Because oh. this thing went over where an area used to be white, so it copied what was under it. I'll just drag and get rid of it. Drag and get rid of it. Now we're going to come up here and do a control and a click. And drag. And then come up to view, zoom, fit window, and you can see it already looks a lot better. And you just keep using those pretty much the same tool. Once in a while, you're going to use another tool that's similar to it called the heel tool, but a lot of it is just going to be using the clone tool like that. We're paying attention to the angles of the brushes and the opacity of it and the size. And that's the end of lesson one for today. So go up here, click File, and click Save. I hope this works out for you. Um, and if, if it helped and you want to learn more, Go ahead and subscribe because I will be doing some more on how I completely uh, did this photo from this to this. I'll try and do a video every 7 to 10 days and I'll show you how to do a lot more detailed work with that clone tool. This was just a real basic introduction. Hope it works for you. Good luck. Bye.